One day, a question came to my mind. Which configuration is faster? A single faster RAM or two slower RAMs? I had the opportunity to test it using two 4GB RAM I bought from my friend. It is common PC knowledge that having two DIMMs is better than one, because it allows for a dual channel. Having dual channel configuration is like having two roads instead of one, which means more cars or in this case, data can pass through. So if there's lots of traffic, having dual channel will benefit a lot. In this case though, we're using different specs of RAM, so it's not as straightforward. RAM is an important component for the computer, but having enough capacity will hinder your gaming performance, and even daily tasks. And most of the time, having the fastest frequency and tightest timings you can afford is the best. Though there is a threshold in which buying over a certain speed is not beneficial in terms of cost to performance ratio. To be safe, I recommend getting 2 8GB 3200MHz CL16 RAM. This is, in my opinion, a good sweet spot for DDR4 systems. Though this isn't the topic of this video, let me introduce you to both of our contestants. On the left side, we have the beautiful white RGB Crucial Ballistic RAM that is running at a frequency of 3600 MHz with a timing of CL16 and 8GB capacity. On the right side, we have the twins, Corsair Vengeance LPX DDR4 RAM, both running at a speed of 2400 MHz, same CL16 timing and 4GB each, totaling 8GB of capacity. Will having two RAM instead of one make up for the difference in speed? We'll soon find out. Here are the complete RAM specs for both of these configurations. Here is the test system we will be running these RAMs on. I recorded the average FPS of 3 multiplayer games, 4 multiplayer games, and for single player, I used in-game benchmarks if it was available, and run it 3 times and took the average, and if it doesn't have them, I played the mission for 60 seconds and repeated it 3 times and took the average FPS. Let's start off with Valorant. Valorant runs pretty great on both of these configurations. The single RAM is averaging an FPS of 598 and 1% loss of 323. Meanwhile, the two RAMs have a slightly higher average FPS at 612 but interestingly a lower 1% loss at 292. But will somebody really notice the difference between these two configurations? I doubt somebody will. They both produce really high frames that the result isn't really that important. But anyways, the two RAMs is slightly better, at least in terms of average FPS. GTA 5 runs better with a dual configuration system, with an average FPS of 120 and 1% loss of 95.6, it's a tiny bit better than what one RAM configuration managed to achieve which is 115.8 FPS average and 1% loss of 89.1. So for this game, if you really want to achieve maximum performance, go with the 2 RAM configuration. Even though it's a merely 4 FPS difference, I seriously doubt that you'll notice the difference in this game. Shadow of the Tomb Raider runs pretty similarly with both of these configurations. In fact, between the average FPS, there's only one FPS difference. The 1% low is where the difference is. 67.7 for the dual configuration and 63.8 FPS for the single dim. So in this game, the winner is the dual channel configuration, even though it's a really small difference. Meanwhile, on Red Dead Redemption 2, the difference is really small, both in terms of average FPS and 1% lows, 73.3 vs 70.8 FPS for the average, and 59.2 vs 57.5 FPS in terms of 1% lows. A small and unnoticeable difference, really, but it's still a win for the dual channel configuration.
Well, I guess we pretty much have seen the trend here. The dual channel won by a tiny bit, both in average and 1% lows. 99 versus 96.5 and 77.3 versus 73.5, respectively. Even though it's a tiny difference, it's been repeating for the past few games. So it's still a win for the dual channel configuration, even for this small of a difference. Well, who would have guessed? Exactly the same result, albeit in terms of the trend, the FPS is not exactly the same. 65.6 for the dual channels average and 64.9 for the single RAM. And for the 1% lows, it's 50.5 and 45.4 respectively. No surprises here. I think you already know who won. And last but not least, Horizon Zero Dawn. I think you know the difference. I don't even have to tell you, so just take a look at the screen and see the FPS difference for yourself. And see you guys on the conclusion. So what have we learned? According to the results of these 7 games, the dual channel configuration is still better than a single DIMM configuration, even though they have much slower speeds. With these games, having two RAMs benefits more than having faster frequency and timings, though the difference wasn't that huge at most of the games. In fact, it's only 2.5% faster overall in terms of average FPS. Taking a look at this graph that summarizes all the results in terms of average FPS, the difference is really small between games, though the two slow RAM configuration is generally faster even with small difference. It's small but it's still a victory. Then. After seeing these results, if you're building a computer and doesn't know which one to pick, two slow RAMs or one fast RAM with the same final capacity, well, it's not that straightforward. You should ask yourself, are you going to upgrade in the near future? In this case, your best bet is to grab one faster DIM, then when you have enough money, then upgrade to another one fast DIM with the same specification and manufacture if possible so you can be sure it's compatible. But if you're not going to upgrade anytime soon, and the capacity that those two teams are offering are enough for you, even though they are slower, then I suggest getting those two RAMs. Thanks for watching everybody, I appreciate the support, leave a like if you liked the video, subscribe to not miss upcoming YouTube videos, if you have questions or suggestions or anything just type it in the comments, I will reply when possible. Share this video if you know someone would wanna see it. I appreciate all of you viewers of this channel, take care and see you next time. Bye!